All right, last game of the weekend, Cleveland at Pittsburgh. This line actually opened up Pittsburgh minus three and a half. And the Browns are basically playing this game without a coaching staff. Actually, that's probably not, probably shouldn't joke about that. A bunch of the coaches tested positive for COVID. Uh, so the Browns have new guys in all kinds of positions. I, I sent out a tweet about it. I'm sure you saw it somewhere. Um, Browns at Steelers, let's make a pick. So like I said before, this line opened up at three and a half Steelers favored. But when that story broke about all the Browns coaches testing positive and how they couldn't be on the sidelines, that line went in motion fast. If you follow my Twitter, you got in at four and a half because I tweeted out like everyone go bet Steelers minus four and a half right now before it moves again. Um, so you're sitting at Pittsburgh four and a half like I am if you follow my Twitter. If you're not, we're, I'm going to make a pick at six for you. Don't worry. So, so it moved up to six and that's what we're dealing with right now. So here we are at the end of the week. And so we're looking at these numbers and what we need to find out is what is the action doing while the number's at six? That's what we, we need to know what the Sharps think of a six point spread. And the answer is completely split. No action. The bets are coming in and nothing's moving which means six is probably the perfect point spread for the books as far as uh, balancing the bets out. So how do these two teams match up on the field? Well, we all know Cleveland has an absolutely savage running game. Nick Chubb's good as hell. They have an awesome offensive line. They probably have the best offensive line in the league um, when it comes to running the ball, them or Tennessee. Very good. Kareem Hunt is great with the ball in his hands too. Uh, just an overall great running back running game. They're third in the league in rushing. The only question I have is how much will the running game suffer now that Alex Van Pelt is calling the plays instead of Kevin Stefanski? Now, Alex Van Pelt is the offensive coordinator, so this isn't a big, huge switch. On the other side of the ball, in the defense, they have like the special teams coach, I think, calling the defensive plays. So that is going to be an issue. But I think Alex Van Pelt, the offensive coordinator calling the play, shouldn't be too... They should still be running the ball fine. I'm sure he'll call a very similar game as Kevin Stefanski would. Oh, I wanted to add this in there because me and my friend were talking about this and I was curious. So I looked it up. So if the, these coaches, they're not allowed to talk once the game starts. So as far as in-game adjustments, Alex Van Pelt or any of the Browns coaching staff that are on the sidelines, they're not allowed to call Kevin Stefanski or get tech, they're not allowed to, um, they're not allowed contact, which I thought was kind of weird because how are they gonna prevent that? But I read that today, um, that there's not allowed to be any contact between the two. So halftime adjustments, in-game adjustments, that's all on the coaching staff that will be on the sidelines. The coaches that tested positive for COVID will have no input. Now, when the Steelers have the ball, this is where I think the Steelers have the extra advantage. I'm not gonna repeat it, I said it before. Special teams coach is gonna be calling the plays on defense for the Browns because the defensive coordinator tested positive for COVID. Huge issue, um, <laughs> the Steelers, they have a very good coaching staff and they got backup coaches in there calling the plays. Um, this is why I give the edge to Pittsburgh. To be honest, I'm not even looking forward to this game, which is crazy. The Browns first playoff game in like 50 years or whatever. This should be a game I should be excited about, but I'm really like, out of the six games, this is the one I think will be the most boring to watch. So what is the pick? All right, so I got in at four and a half along with a lot of you, but if you're still sitting there making a pick at six, I still think Steelers are the right side to be on. I think they win by more than a touchdown. Um, I think there's st uh, that the Steelers offense is gonna look amazing. They're gonna look way better than they are just because the, the, the Browns defense might be a little bit of a mess. So give me Pittsburgh minus six for y'all who didn't pick. If anything changes with that pick, I will tweet it and put it on my Instagram story. Um, so if there's any reason I think you should um, jump to the Cleveland side or anything at all, I will put it on there on those platforms. So if you're going to follow me on this bet, make sure you check those before you lock it in. Let's go. Pittsburgh minus six.